Now, you've all seen the ads make six figure investment gains in this new launch property from following my advice XYZ system that I have developed over X number of years. Almost every agent online or property guru online has a system that they want you to follow. Now, what are the pitfalls and the things that you should take note of before you listen to this advice and make your property investment? Let's dive straight in. Now, the key contention that I have with regards to this make six figure gains is this. How can a property agent or an investment guru responsibly claim that I can get you this X amount of dollars in capital appreciation? No one has a crystal ball. Even the government cannot fully predict what will happen in 10, 20 years time. Whether there is going to be a lot of people that is going to flock to this condo, they will make money. I mean, hopefully everybody gets capital appreciation. But how can you claim that you're going to make X amount of dollars by listening to my advice? I think that's just BS and irresponsible. Reality is this. We can lower the risk from property investments by looking at demand and supply in the area, by looking at location, looking at master plan itself, looking at the layout, popularity of a certain unit type in the area, the demographics. These are things that we can see, your purchase price. And then either increase the likelihood that you will make money or highly likely you buy this, you are going to lose money. So don't buy. So these are the aspects that we should be analyzing and sharing with our client rather than the broad claim that you are going to make X amount of dollar, you're going to make six figure gains. Now, the other thing that you should consider is this six figure gain, nobody ever commit to you what is the first digit. Is it $100,000 gain, $200,000 gain, $300,000 gain, $900,000 gain is also six figure gain. Now, the problem I have with this is I have a lot of consumers who have probably bought the wrong property. They only make like 100000 over the last six years or some of them never make any money. But 100000 is still six figure gain. So ultimately, this $100,000 gain, if you really look at after you minus off all the costs, whether your CPF accrued interest, you minus off the commission and what other fees that you have, ultimately you might be walking away with zero cash proceeds. And that's the norm when you only make $100,000. So importantly, it's not the six figure gain. Importantly, is what is your first digit? I can promise you if you make $300,000, $400,000, $500,000, you sure have cash proceed one. But maybe you $200,000 after you factor in the renovation of your next house, you minus off all your accrued interest, you are probably going to be left with nothing. So this six-figure gain thing to me, this statement is quite irresponsible. Now, there are many, many factors that you should be putting in when you are buying a property or even when you're choosing an agent but let's not forget one thing how do you truly know whether or not your agent or this property guru is thinking about your best interest or their own best interest so generally I think what you should be considering when you're interviewing agents or you are looking for somebody to work with to give you investment advice is this are the things that this person is telling you logical or not? I mean, I've lost touch of how many times I have seen new launches or properties that I wouldn't touch with a 10-foot pole even if I have $10 million cash. I also won't buy these properties. But agents have no qualms about recommending this to their clients. And a lot of times, you have to know this thing. 
if a development hasn't been selling well from the beginning, all developers, being an ex-property developer, all developers will always increase the commission to boost sales. That is, as developers, that's the one weapon that we have that is the most effective for boosting sales. Price drop or commission increase. These are the two things that we can do. So, if, it, if there is a price drop and it happened a lot of times for a lot of developments that can't sell, the previous owners are screwed. Because you bought at a high price, the developer cannot sell, he's selling for cheap now. So you are sitting on a drastic paper loss and you can't do anything about it, especially when the developer is the one that's selling for cheap. Now, the other factor that you probably don't know is how much is the commission that the agents are getting? Yes, agents will never tell you the commission and it's illegal to give kickback. Ah, so this thing is something that I will never do. But in terms of high commission, people are, I mean, agents, I won't say agents are greedy. Everyone needs money to survive in this world. So some can be motivated by money, some just want to give value. But ultimately, you can see if there is a high commission, I guarantee you that the sales of that particular development is suddenly going to skyrocket. We have seen in the past condos that are facing the expressway right next to the expressway, suddenly they give 10% commission. I mean, I've seen as almost, I mean, sometimes it's higher than 10%, but most of the time is a lot lesser, but 10% commission, I guarantee you that project, a lot of agents will push. But who is the one that is screwed? The consumer that listen to the agent, buy that, all oh, this has investment potential, and I'm seeing all these consumers now that have been screwed. They buy something that has zero capital appreciation, no demand, people just don't want, don't, cannot rent out, cannot sell, and then the value has dropped. So ultimately, the best defense against all these things is by choosing the correct property. Yes, you might not be experienced and you trusted certain people to give you the right advice, but you also have to employ a fair bit of logic in your decision making. Right? If it's not logical, the person that's saying, yeah, he's a salesman, but you... I'm sure you have resisted salespeople before. You have not fallen to their sales tactics. So ultimately, whether or not this person is telling you something that is logical, you know, look at the demand in the area. If there's no demand, the project hasn't been selling well, what makes you think when you are trying to sell after a TOP, uh, after everything is fully completed, that someone is going to buy from you? And if you bought at a super high price, is it a risk or is it something that you, no matter what, because certain factors, you will still make money. Is it true? No, there are, even at high prices, there are properties that make money, there are properties that just don't. All these factors, we can talk about in the next video or another time, but ultimately, I want you to employ a little bit of common sense when you're dealing with salespeople. Don't fall for sales gimmicks. Look at things logically and decide on the right person to work with. I'm not saying it must be me, but please open both eyes and then make your decision. With that, bye.